to Barcelona. We are back in Spain. We visited this beautiful country uh, a few years ago, I think about five years ago, and absolutely fell in love with Spain. And actually, Barcelona was the first city that we ever visited in Europe, so this place is a little special for us, and I'm super excited to be back here. Yes, and we landed about an hour ago. Uh, we actually not staying in Barcelona this time. Yeah. We have booked a place uh, in Sitges. It's it's roughly an hour uh, about drive from here. Yeah, not not too far. We were supposed to stay in Barcelona, but for some reason the hotel and Airbnb were super expensive. Like yeah. three weeks back when we were looking at the hotels, they were like very average price. We were like, okay, we'll probably book it maybe two week two weeks in advance. Made yeah. that mistake. <laughs> and now they are almost ten times higher. I guess maybe yeah. there's an event or there's. I know there's a soccer game, but I don't think so. The hype cannot be for that. Yeah. So now. Um, First order of business is to find a coffee and to grab something to eat because we haven't eaten anything. Um, well, I, I slept full flight. Yeah. The very first time. I didn't. I watched a few movies, but I'm really starving. So right. let's go and eat. Yes. So change of plans. It was getting really hot. So rather than sipping on a coffee, we decided to. So right now we are roaming around La Rambla. This is like the main shopping uh, area here in Barcelona and one of the fun facts that Sid is trying to mention behind the <laughs> camera is that this is Sid's favorite place like he always and always talks about it so we are here in Spain only for three days and in Barcelona technically we just have half a day to explore um, so we might not be revisiting the places that we initially went when we came um, because today is all about Barcelona tomorrow we're going to be exploring Sitges and the day after we are going to be in Costa Brava so there are a few places that we want to visit here in Barcelona today and the first stop which of course it recommended <laughs> was La Rambla and after this we will see where we'll go feeling nostalgia while walking through La Rambla it it can be a reason because we both are super tired we had a long travel day and uh, it's amazing though it's so beautiful same kind of vibes we're absolutely loving it yeah I mean the vibes here in Barcelona is just at a different level making our way to Sagrada La Familia which is one of the most iconic spots here in um, Barcelona we are not going inside but we're just gonna like pass through it um, last time when we were here we already went inside and it's just absolutely incredible but we really don't have any time and there are no time uh, sorry um, slots available to visit the church today so we'll just like pass through it and still roam around the streets of Barcelona So we got to know why all the hotels and Airbnbs here in Barcelona got the price hike. So my friend, one of my friends texted me this morning that, hey, are you there for an F1 race in Barcelona? I was like, F1 race? What F1 race? He's like, yeah, there's an F1 race here in Barcelona tomorrow, which is Sunday. I was like, that's okay, why that's why. Okay. <laughs> the prices were high. Because the game which we are going, it's like every weekend it happens. So it couldn't have been that reason. But now we got to know. Well, if we would have known in advance, we might have maybe bought a ticket for it, but now it's too late. I mean, we definitely wouldn't get anything for it. Yes, for sure. So 
So we have made it to Sagrada La Familia and a lot of work has been done since we last saw this and it looks so beautiful. I mean, this is one of the structures here in Barcelona which is just absolutely mesmerizing and if you ever get a chance to go inside, definitely do it. It is so beautiful. I'll try to put down some pictures if I can uh, find them from our previous trip but it's really incredible. And now we are getting a little tired and we still have one more place that I really want to see before the sun sets. So let's try to get a quick coffee fix and then we'll head there and see the sunset. And I, I can't recall the name of uh, that place so I'll have to Google it. Uh, but from there you could see the entire uh, view of Barcelona city so I'm really excited. really need this at this point. We have been walking around since the time uh, we reached Barcelona and we were gonna push through to walk to the sunset point but it's about three kilometers from here and we literally have no energy to walk and by the time even if we start walking now by the time we reach there the sun would have already set so I think the decision is made we are gonna take a cap. So we are actively trying to find a taxi but we aren't able to secure one. Every taxi just that passes by is occupied. We have been waiting for about 30 minutes now. Anina? No? No. Oh man. Yeah, no taxi. So that and the sun is almost setting. So if we don't find the taxi, there's a chance we might not be able to go. Um, Uber doesn't work here. So even if you um, like use Uber, it will be only recommended for taxis and they say no drivers available. Okay. I do see one taxi coming there. Okay, okay. <laughs> Go jump in front of it. Because usually when it's occupied, it says number two or three depending on how many people are there. Okay. But I see a cab behind those lights. Uh, this one's occupied. I'm trying to jump on it. Okay, no, please don't do that. Oh no! How are we gonna go? Okay, change of plans. So instead of going to that viewpoint now, because we, we totally cannot make it at this point, we are gonna go to the beach. So we're gonna take a bus. Yeah, we're gonna take a bus. We cannot wait for a cab. So the bus shows in the next three minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So in two minutes, we'll hop on the bus and then go to the beach. de la Roviro. Something like that, yeah. And then because we couldn't uh, catch a cab, we weren't able to go to the viewpoint. I was slightly disappointed because the whole day I was, that was one thing that I was really looking for. Um, but that's okay, we decided we won't let that dampen the situation. So instead, we planned to, to go to the beach. We hopped onto the bus and then... Because, uh, because obviously we couldn't find a cab, so bus was the easiest option. Yeah. And then, I don't know what happened because now we can see all the roads are pretty much closed. The bus had to reroute and... The eventually, <laughs> eventually take us back to the same position. I know, like the, it dropped us at a place which was very far from the beach. Like it was going to be another 20 minutes bus ride towards the beach and then again 10-15 minutes walk. And it was already 9.30 so it was, like... The issue was not that it was getting dark, the issue was that we still had to have to pick up our bags and then yeah. go to Sudgate, which is another an hour travel. And um, we can't really check in like after, at, 12. after 12 to so midnight. We have to reach before that. <laughs> so, long story short, <laughs> we couldn't go to the viewpoint, we couldn't go to the beach, and now we, ended, we are. We ended up just walking on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we are just um, walking towards the place where our luggage is. 
So we're gonna pick up our luggage, uh, grab something to eat, and then make our way to suitcase. Yes. Finally checked in. It's a pretty nice room with sea views, but we will show you guys the full room tour tomorrow. It's super late, it's um, past midnight. So we're gonna call it a night, have some rest, and then rise and shine early tomorrow. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, good night. And here we go. Every time, every city, he just looks for soccer stores. There is no sun here, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that window and get me my baggy eyes. Sorry, guys. Now we have come up to the place where. Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said sorry to the camera.